Yankee mailbox has arrived for another job. And I'm just showing you the truck here. All set with our tools. Plenty of gravel for the digging and the tamping. Got our granite posts there on the sling ready to be craned. An old shabby mailbox post. Boy, it's gonna make a big difference when we put in a new granite post for them. Got our digging tools all set up. Laid down our digging board. Ready to make a big difference here, for sure. Scott's out here to helping out on the job. All right, we're extracting the post now. You can see we have our post puller. It's all wrapped around the post. Got a little lever action here. We're gonna give that a try. It's kind of freestyling it here. A little pressure on this. And wow, here it comes, look at that. It's coming up. All right, I'll kind of go down, relax it down a little ways. Scott will bite it with the chains biting into the wood. And up she comes. And that's how the post puller is used. Now you can relax the, uh, the chain, bring it around. Good. Put the post puller away. Now you can extract the post. It should come out easy. Give it a little wiggle maybe. There you go. The post puller got us started. Yankee manpower finished the job. Okay, John's gonna power clean this post into the top rack here. John, how do you feel about this move? Should be easy. Have a good flow with this. All Just right, wait. let's see the technique. This is a heavy post here. It is. Gonna take balance. Beautifully done. Yankee manpower. We're gonna start by digging the hole. And the most important thing is to get the hole in the right place. You want to make sure it's far enough off the road so the plow doesn't hit it, but close enough so the mailman doesn't complain. We're using our, our template here. I have little settings here, and this one is a Cape Cod berm, so I'm setting this right at the edge of the Cape Cod berm, and it gives me a starting point. So this one will be set back slightly from where it was before. That's probably why it got broken. That'll give us a good safe distance from the edge of the road so the plow won't damage the post, but it will be accessible. Very good. Positing the fill on our digging board. We're going at this hole here. Nice iron pick. Got a little a blunt flip around the end so we can feel our way down. We're always very very concerned about any under, underground utilities. So we're depositing all the fill on the digging board, keeping a nice neat work site. And we're getting down to it. We're looking for about 28 to 30 inches here. This is now it's time to lower the granite into the hole. So got my controller here. Scott's gonna take hold of that stone. I'll lift it up first. Bring it out of this bed of the truck. So there's our crane. Handling the stone with care and dealing with a 300 pound slab. The ingenuity. Gently into the hole. Nice and smooth. Well done. An excellent height. Okay, we got the stone in the ground and now we're going to mount the brace. You can see the installer is holding the brace with the bag, not to get any soil, any dirt on it. And he's putting, sliding the brace right onto the, the pins. And what we're gonna do, 
see these recessed mounting holes. So we're going to drop that in there. And we're gonna get this little simple thing going here too. Stainless steel hardware. What I like to do too is this little room to, to move that a little bit and get it centered on the post. And then tighten it up. And we'll do the same with the top. See, there's another mounting hole here. It's just that simple to mount the brace on a Yankee granite post. Okay, now I'm gonna use the ratchet to firm up these nuts here. Very good. Expansion anchors are seating. And you can see here, they'll come out just a little bit and that's part of the process of seating themselves in the granite. You don't want to over tighten these. You can feel that nice and firm. Very good. That's what we have now. Granite post is in the ground and the brace is installed. Next thing we're going to do is get the perpendicular right so the post is perpendicular to the center line in the road. I'm going to walk out here. Go to the center line of the street. You could see there's a line running down your street. Very good. And you get straddle that center line. And wow, we really nailed this one. Might need just a little skosh this way. Yep, very good. A little bit back. Just that's it. Very nice. Okay, we have the perpendicular. Now we're going to apply gravel to the hull and mix it in with the fill and get a good solid pack. Now we're applying all-purpose gravel to the mix and I'm pouring it in around the hull. Started out the hull with a ring of gravel and then we're going to mix the soil in with the gravel. bit around here. And now we're going to use our tamping rod. You can see this nice tamping end here. Mix up the gravel and the soil. This clay makes a good pack with the gravel too. All the while we're checking our level on the post, making sure that it goes in nice and plumb. A little tilt back. Finishing up the mounting of the mounting platform for the Patriot mailbox, the Heritage mounts right through the floor of the heavy gauge steel Heritage, but the Patriot requires a steel platform, and this steel platform is, is also, it's coated with aluminum. They call it galvanil, and the aluminum prevents any rust. So you have a nice solid steel platform for the Patriot, and uh, just simply Cranks right into the mounting brace. Very good. A good solid steel platform. I'm mounting the cap and I'm getting the caulk inside the cap. That's our silicone adhesive. 35 year Alex Plus silicone adhesive. It works terrific for mounting the cap. post. And what you want to do is you want to take a look at the under the gap underneath the cap and get it gap nice and even on all sides. Very good. Excellent. So come down just a little bit on that side and the cap has been placed. Now we're mounting the Patriot mailbox. You can see here, I'm just dropping it right onto the mounting platform. And then I'm sliding it through the wedge anchor, which goes right through the back plate of the Patriot mailbox. Of course, with the stabilizer block in between, very nice. 
mount the mailbox to the stabilizer system. I'm using these fender washers, four of them stacked. I thread them right through the wedge anchor, put the nut over it, and then with the simple ratchet here, simply tighten up. And that squeezes the back plate of the mailbox to the granite post. Stabilizer block in between. The Patriot mailbox mounts to the platform through four template holes. And I'm going to drive it in right now. That's a stainless steel screw, a nifty little cover cap. Of course, we have another one that we drive in right here. Any Phillips set screwdriver will work for this. Here we go. Now we're going to place our cover caps. You can see they go right over these recessed holes. That way you don't see the stainless steel hardware. Looks nice and neat. Those have a nice compression fit. Very good and very neat. For finishing up the job, what I like to do is apply a little bit of this spray wax to the mailbox. And that way it Gives the box a nice shine, eliminates any fingerprints from uh, us handling it during the installation. And last but not least, I'm going to install Old Glory here. All Yankee Mailbox customers receive a complimentary American flag. And that just slides right into the stabilizer block slot. Easy insertion. And it's easy to remove as well. There you go. Another masterpiece installed. A beautiful Yankee granite mailbox post where an eyesore once was. This is a beautiful first impression for our customer's home.